So-called genetic scissors can cut through plant, animal, and human DNA, removing disease and imperfections and altering the code of life. It's a discovery that's earned Emmanuel Chapontier of France and American Jennifer Doudna this year's Nobel Prize in Chemistry. So how many clones did you, did you check? Known as CRISPR-Cas9, the tool can be used to cut single genes out of a DNA strand, contributing to new cancer therapies and offering the possibility of curing hereditary diseases. Dudna says these genetic scissors are like using a word processing program to fix a typo in a document. But there are lots of genetic diseases that you could potentially use this kind of technique to start to try and treat or you can use it to create model organisms so that we can specifically test out medicines much more easily, more effectively. The path from discovery to prize has taken less than a decade, a relatively short period by Nobel standards. Chapontier first published her findings in 2011 after studying bacteria and how they fight viral infections. That same year, she joined forces with Dudna from the University of California, Berkeley in the U.S. to recreate the bacteria's genetic scissors in a test tube. The CRISPR technology has already been used to change the DNA in the cells of mice and monkeys, other organisms as well. Chinese scientists showed recently that they could even use the CRISPR technology to change genes in human embryos. And scientists in Philadelphia showed they could use CRISPR to remove the DNA of an, an integrated HIV virus from infected human cells. But this new technology is not without controversy. Some are concerned that altering human DNA could lead to questionable practices, including creating so-called designer babies. So together with my colleagues, I have called for a global conversation about the technology that I co-invented so that we can consider all of the ethical and societal implications of a technology like this. The pair are the sixth and seventh women to win a Nobel Prize for chemistry. And today, Casper Cas9 is a common tool in biochemistry and molecular biology labs. Only imagination sets the limits for what this chemical tool, that's too small to be visible with our eyes, can be used for in the future. Perhaps the dream of curing genetic diseases will come true. Leah Harding, Al Jazeera.